a little while ago when we were filming the kitchen transformation video, I mentioned the cellar and a couple of people asked to know a little bit more about it and what we had planned. So, very quick video, thought I could be a little tour and run you through some of the ideas we've got for it. The cellar is about the same size floor plan as the lounge above, minus the bay window. So it's about four meters in width and usable space is about three meters the other way. There's a raised section which I'll show you, um, which kind of is part of the foundations of the house, I think. You can see over here, whether you can see this brickwork here, that reaches back about a meter to that wall there, which splits this cellar from the subfloor. So I won't lie to you, it's always a mess down here. Um, sometimes we have a little bit of a tidy up, but it's really just bonus storage. We don't use it so much as a room yet. Um, you can see above me, this is the insulation for the floor above. Now, it's obviously, it's just being held up with some cord at the moment, um, but in the future we may put a ceiling here. It's very low anyway, I'm only just standing above it, uh, below it. Um, so that needs to be pushed up, but that's the sheep's wool insula insulation, uh, which we've done throughout the ground floor. So this opening behind me actually goes to the patio area in the back garden. Um, so there is scope for creating a bit of an entrance. There used to be some sort of opening here for either bringing in fuel, like an old coal chute. But we've got about a metre, um, so we're only a metre underground, if that makes sense. So you can see there, that's the opening. This stone lintel at the top there, and then some sort of metal work, which makes this look rather like a, a jail. Um, so that could realistically be taken out in minutes. That stone section has just been put in. That could be knocked out, there's already the lintel there. So we could have natural light coming in here uh, by just putting a window there. This section, this is the outside stone wall of the house here. This, the reason why it's further is this is the bay window upstairs. So realistically, these two sort of cubbies could be used for storage. But this whole section here, depending on what a structural engineer would say, this could be taken out. So we could have steps coming down from the patio down into here. So wouldn't it be cool to be able to come down from the patio in here, get some drinks, um, use it as a little bit of a kind of getaway from the garden. In the summer, this sits at about 15 degrees. So it's pretty chilly, but actually, that's bearable, you know, you can come in here and the kids can, you know, use it as a bit of a playroom as well um, from outside. I don't want to convert it into a room. And the reason for that is the house is big enough um, and we need the storage. Joe and I are pretty bad hoarders and um, with the loft being used up for rooms as well up there and storage for the business, we've got to find somewhere to keep all of our junk basically. So that's why we're going to keep it as a working cellar. But if we can get some access from out in the garden, you know, you can come in, we can have the fridge in here, we can have drinks, the kids sort of garden toys and things like that. Um, they can actually come in here and we can use it as storage, both for the house and the garden. I'm also not keen on the, the idea of like tanking the walls and all sorts of things that could really cause issues elsewhere in the house. You make all the walls down here waterproof, that, that water's got to go somewhere and realistically it could push it up the walls and we could have problems in our main rooms of the house so we're going to leave it breathable it's been like this for you know 100 years plus so we'll clean everything down we might we could line wash it in here to brighten things up we can put a, a ceiling in here as well the cellar is currently at 10 degrees celsius which is a pretty decent temperature for storing things at food and drink and it only really rises by about five degrees in the summer so it's pretty constant so if we can keep it as a usable store for veg and fruit, and of course wine. <laughs> um, with, yeah, that's another bonus. So some of my really early videos show what we discovered down here. So when the house was sold, um, all of this was left in here. And all this is like homebrew wine for the 70s. A few of the things down here to mention, these are the old marble and granite hearths from the fires around the house which we found down here, so we should be able to use them for something, some sort of giant cheese board or um, maybe even make a bit of an outdoor table with those. But the real hoard 
of wine that's still down here is over here. Let me check out those bottles. So there's quite a bit still there. We tapped into one or two out of sheer curiosity. And actually some of the smaller bottles were wax sealed. So we trusted them a bit more. Uh, but some of that gooseberry stuff over there is almost like paint stripper. More like a museum here at the moment. I picked up a load of these pretty standard cheap wine racks at a, uh, an antiques sort of flea market. There's another big one there. So, you know, I like the idea that we can make it more like a cellar again. And uh, especially this raised section here where we can't do anything with the, the bottom half, but actually we can still make a bit of a feature at the top bit there. And right at the bottom of the stairs, we've got this old safe, which to be honest, we need to be able to get out to the garden because that's not going up the stairs into the kitchen. I haven't even tried to move it, but it can't be light. So there you go, that's the cellar. Uh, we're back to the loft project shortly, just kind of trying to get a little bit more footage together on that and actually find the time to uh, get the insulation finished. So thanks for watching. But thanks for watching, remember if you can, do it yourself and we'll see you next time.